Hey guys, Pete here. I uh, just realized this weekend that it has been a while since I posted a drum video, something related to drums, other than, you know, my band videos, Bumble's Bounce. But um, I wanted to do kind of a flashback video because I'm getting a lot of questions about tuning drums. And I know it's it was difficult for me when I was starting out to, to, to really know how to tune them. So a couple of years ago, I did a video when I was in the studio with Volbeat, uh, helping record um, uh, re rewind replay rebound and um, I had to tune John's drums for the record and I did film part of tuning uh, the, the tuning process so I wanted to kind of do a flashback video today for you guys uh, to watch or give to you know drummers that you know that might have questions about tuning I'll do a tuning video that uh, is more in-depth in the next a uh, couple weeks, but for now you can share this with uh, anybody that you know that uh, is a drummer or anybody that just wants to learn how to tune drums. All right, so enjoy the video and I'll see you all soon. Thanks. Bye. This is John's kit he's going to use. Did toms yesterday, toms and kicks. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on snare drums. I'll see you all soon. I think I'm just going to see where it's at and then go from there. Um, the reason I put it on the drum throne is to muffle the bottom head. Might have seen me do it with toms. Today I'm doing John's snare drums and um, we're going to use, I'm using the TuneBot, TuneBot gig actually. I think it's the better of the two bots for for me anyway. I'm sure people like the <coughs> standard tune bot. It has a little more uh, some more features. It's a little more complicated to use though. So that's kind of why I like this one. So I don't always use it. I, I haven't been using the tune bot that long. Maybe um, for the last half a year maybe. Um, but I like it. I think it's good. I think it to check my work. You know I. Um, I tune my ear and then I use the tube bot to kind of check how accurate it is and then I fine tune it with that. And if I'm looking for a specific note it definitely helps because I don't, I don't know exactly by ear what note I'm getting. Um, so anyway how the tube bot works is you put it on the rim in between two tension rods, any two tension rods. Make sure it's on there secure. And you just turn it on. And then you tap near a lug. And the light will go on when it trip when it actually picks it up. So sometimes you have to hit it harder. So I use a stick usually. Um, so we'll start with this one. And it's telling me it's a C. It's a little sharp, but what I do is I try to get every tension rod to be a C at that point because that's the way I initially tuned it. So we'll see what this one is. That says it's a C, a little sharp. C. C. Good. That's right on. A little sharp. Really sharp. Really sharp. A little sharp. Okay, so they're all they're all C, so it's pretty accurate. That's good. <clears throat> that says something about the heads. The level three hundred and sixty Evans heads are pretty even all the way around um, when you initially put them on. And then I do want a couple turns on each tension rod. If I want to go lower, I actually have to check these because uh, when I prepped them in the warehouse, I can't remember how many turns I did, so I'll have to check them. But um, the this is a HD dry head, so it's got a little less overtone. But let me see where they're at here. One. Yeah, it's only one turn. Okay, so what I would do is I go around and try to get them, since we're at a C right now, I try to get them all to be right on instead of sharp. Because right now most of them are sharp, 
and that way they'll be more accurate with each other. So <coughs> then I put them on the stand, I'll put it on the stand and um, see what it sounds like. And I might, you know, put some muffling on it, but we'll see what it sounds like. This is an 8x14 hybrid exotic. This is what Johnny uses live actually. So, I mean, I could go higher with it. Um, we'll see what the mic hears. And I just say, I'll leave that drum the way it is, and we'll figure it out when we start getting sounds. So, I'll move on to the next drum. All right. Next net drum is going to be his drum gear snare drum. Uh, he's got a couple of these. He's got a, this is a bronze, I believe. It has a Genera HD Evans head on it. Um, not sure how I tuned this one. So, I'm just going to see what pitch it tells me it is. Let's see. This one's a six and a half by fourteen. So this one's a D. So far, D, 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 D. Okay, all the way around seems to be D, and all but one is—they're all flat. So I'm just going to tune it to D. Let's see what happens. So we'll go a little sharper with these here. So, I mean, you could spend a lot of time getting every tension rod to read right up the middle so that it's exactly a D sharp 4. That's what this is reading. We'll see that. And if you see the little dial, if it's off to the left, it's a little flat. If it's off to the right, it's a little sharp. And then the frequency's up top. So. You could spend a long time fine-tuning to get it really be up center, but I don't do that. I, I mean, unless I have to, because, man, if the drum sounds good, freaking leave it. If it sounds the way you want it to sound. All right, so I'm going to leave that at a D, just to hear what this drum sounds like. And this drum probably will have a lot of ring, so I'll eventually muffle it. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, sounds really good. I like. I've always liked this drum actually. I have a feeling we're going to be using this one. <coughs> we'll see how it goes. All right. So that was that. That was done. Um, the last one's going to be, it's kind of like a Black Beauty, a Ludwig Black Beauty, but that's the next one. Which way to go? Well, there's more C-sharp ones, and the last, the bronze one, was tuned to D. So, 
I might actually get this one down to D to match the bronze because this bronze sounded really good at, at with the top head at D. So I'm going to take all the C sharp ones and bring them to D. Okay, and that D, let's start with a D. Let's D. And get that one tuned right to. Try to get as close to center as possible. By the way, this is this drum has a different head too. So this is a and, and this is what this is the head John's use, John uses live. It's a heavyweight head, so it has a reinforced center on the inside of the head, uh, double ply head. The other two are double ply heads, but they don't have the reinforcement. Um, so all these drums have different heads on them, so they're going to sound a little different than each other. Um, Getting the other two closer to the center of D brought this third tension rod to D, and it was at C before. So they do affect each other. They're all really close to each other. Too. It's 295 hertz. We're all very close to center. 295, 294. Okay, good. So, let's see what this one sounds like. Much higher. Very solid. So we have three different sounding snare drums to choose from. I have other drums with different heads on them, so I am going to tune those and get them to a good start point. And then we have all these different drums to choose from, so it's pretty cool. I mean, I only have three different types of drums, but I have different heads on all of them, so and depending on you know, what notes I tune them to, I can make them all sound a little different, so it's pretty good. And the tune bot definitely helps me with making sure that uh, at least the heads are in tune. Each tension rod's in tune with uh, each other and, and the head's in tune with, its, you know, with itself. Um, so there you go. I would say the biggest thing to remember when you're tuning the snare drum is, or any drum, okay, let's not even just say snare drum, because I did Tom just say it too, but get them in tune with themselves, but get them the way you want them to sound. You don't have to go by charts or certain notes or whatever, unless that's what it's called for, but ultimately they're your drums, so make them sound the way you want them to sound get the tones you want to get out of the drums. Um, there are specific tones, certain, you know, drums are made to play. Like, you're not going to tune an 8-inch tom down so low trying to get, you know, a 13 or a 14-inch size drum out of an 8-inch or vice versa. So, you know, realize the tone range those drums are limited to, but, or made for, I should say. So, <clears throat> you want to stay in that range, but get them sound the way you want it to sound. And if you like it, leave it. All right? If you need to put a little muffling on it, big deal. Do it. I'm going to be doing that to these drums, too, because the mics hear stuff, especially when you're in the studio, the mics hear things that you might not hear. So you might need to muffle this or muffle that. Do it. 
of whatever makes it sound good, okay? And don't obsess over it for too long. You could spend hours and hours and hours obsessing on it. Once you get it to a point where you really like it, leave it. All right. See you soon.